Jake Paul's happy that Gibb won. Because you have to remember, no matter what Gibb does from now on, no matter what he achieves from now on, it's only going to make Jake look better. Because Jake beats him in one round. This Gibb is way better than that Gibb. But the truth is, if you're keeping it real, Jake beat Gibb in one round. So Gibb beating Taylor is only going to make Jake happy because... It just makes him look better. And everyone knows Jake is all about himself. He's a selfish guy. All he gives a fuck is about himself. That's why he didn't even speak about the YouTube TikTok event pretty much at all. Because he didn't want to promote it. He didn't want to mention it so he doesn't get any publicity. But it still did well. I was surprised how well the TikTok event did, you know. Apparently it got like 15 to 20k thousand fans in the stadium. Uh, people are saying 1 million buys. I don't know whether that's true or not. Why wouldn't he be happy? Why wouldn't he be happy? Like, Gibb winning is beneficial for him. He doesn't know who the fuck Taylor Holder is. And even if Taylor Holder won on points or late stoppage, Jake didn't win. So this is my point. Back in the day when Gibb lost to Jake and Gibb was calling out Deji, I was like, Deji shouldn't fight him. Joel, and he was calling out Joella. I was like, Joella shouldn't fight him. No one should fight Gibb because... Gibb is better than what he showed and also the nerves and whatever. Jake was just better on the night. Gibb will never get knocked out in the first round unless it was like a real, real Donny. So it's almost, it'll be difficult because Gibb's obviously improved. It'll be difficult for anyone to knock out Gibb in one round. So this is my, this is why I was saying that Dejin and uh, Joe Weller shouldn't fight Gibb because it's only going to make Jake look better. This is my point with J uh, Gibb versus Taylor as well. That no matter what happens, it's only going to make Jake look better. Because I said it from the start, Taylor had to beat Gibb in one round. The best he could do is beat Gibb in one round. That's the best he could do. And even then, people say, yeah, Jake did that too. Jake did it first. So it was literally like, it's literally whoever fights Gibb is a... Unless if they don't give a shit about that. But if you're a competitor, like Jake is just another YouTuber. He's not this god elite level boxer. So if, if, I, if it was me, I don't really fight Gibb because... You've got more to lose and even if you beat him, you're not really going to get the credit you deserve because Jake didn't want. So I don't really want to ramble on too much. Like, comment, subscribe for more bollocks. Peace. Bye bye.